It started out as a minor traffic stop, but the next 14 hours would turn into a humiliating violation of a New Mexico man's body by police and doctors. Four on your side, investigator Chris Ramirez found a case that had us asking, is law enforcement in one community going way too far? A warning, the contents of this story are not suitable for children. It's terrifying. I mean, it's absolutely a nightmare. Shannon Kennedy is a civil rights attorney, and when you hear this story, you'll understand why a New Mexico man called her for help. I mean, it's absolutely unimaginable that this could happen in America. Here's the story. Lordsburg resident David Eckerd was shopping at this Walmart in Deming. When he left the parking lot, he didn't make a complete stop at the stop sign as he merged into traffic. Police stopped him. What happens next is documented in medical reports, police reports, and now a federal lawsuit. They say that he, when he stepped out of his car, he was standing in a manner that looked as if he was clinching his buttocks. That's right. Suddenly, this was no longer a minor traffic stop. It was an investigation into Eckert's buttocks. Police note that a drug dog alerted to a possible odor of drugs on Eckert's car seat. And so, police concluded Eckert might be hiding drugs in his anal cavity. The report showed Deming police held Eckert in custody while they secured a warrant signed by a judge allowing a search of his anal cavity. A lawsuit states police took him to the Deming emergency room at Membris Hospital, but a doctor there told police he wouldn't perform the search because it was ethically wrong. Next stop, the Gila Regional Medical Center in Silver City, where doctors there agreed to help. And here's where things go badly for Eckert, very badly. According to court records and medical charts, first, doctors x-rayed Eckert, then penetrated his rectum with their fingers, then performed another exam with their fingers. Doctors then gave Eckert three enemas and forced him to defecate in front of them while they searched his stool. All of these things done without consent. All of them finding nothing. But it didn't stop there. Doctors performed a second x-ray. Then they sedated Eckert, prepared him for surgery, and performed a colonoscopy. This animation shows how far the scope goes as it travels through the anus, rectum, colon, and into the intestines. Eckert protested each medical procedure. The thought that they could do this to a man in our country is, is terrifying. I mean, our community should be outraged, and the public has a right to know about this so that they are aware when they're traveling through that part of our state to be careful and to be on guard. There's a line right here, and it's important because this line separates Luna County from Grant County. One more time, because it's important. Luna County, Grant County. It's important because this search warrant was only good in Luna County, but all those medical procedures happened over here in Grant County. We took all of this to the chief of Deming police. In terms of just being able to sit down and just chat for a few minutes, would you have a couple of minutes right now to, to do that? No, sir. Uh, anything pertaining to that specific case, uh, we're going to refer you all to Tony Ortiz, our attorney in Santa Fe. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, we can contact him. Okay. You know, just, just one question. As the police chief of Deming, what reassurances could you give people that when they come through your town, that they're not going to be abused or violated by your police officers? We follow the law in every aspect and, and follow procedures and protocols that we have in place. And do you think, in your own opinion, as, as, the, as the chief of police here, do you think that those officers in this particular case did that? Sir, I'm going to refer that one to the attorney as well due to the ongoing litigation, okay? In an email, Tony Ortiz wrote, he won't comment, but added that the city of Deming will prevail in this matter. Now, you might expect administrators here at Gila Regional Medical Center to defend their doctors, maybe even defend patient care here. Turns out they're not. Instead, they're issuing me a no comment, saying that this is a pending litigation matter and they're not going to comment on it. I mean, this is like something out of a science fiction film. Anal probing by government officials and public employees. Let's talk about your client today. We were supposed to meet with your client and then at the last minute he backed out of our interview. How come? He's terrified. 
He's absolutely terrified that he's living in a community where police are able to harass people traveling through this community and people who live there, basically unchecked. It started with a minor traffic violation, and you may think it ended with eight anal medical procedures, but there's one more thing. The Gila Regional Medical Center billed Eckert for those procedures and is even threatening to take him to collections if he doesn't pay. Chris Ramirez, 